and a friend are warriors with secret orders to invade an enemy nation. Working together as a team, you must fight for survival against a relentless onslaught of enemies. In the Akari Warriors from SNK in 1987. It's a vertically scrolling shoot 'em up arcade game. It was published in the North America and uh, Europe by Trade West in 1986. Originally, entitled, originally titled Akari or Fury in Japan, the Akari Warriors was SNK's first major breakthrough in the US and it became something of a classic. The game was released at the time and there were many commando clones on the market. And what distinguished the Akari Warriors were the rotary joysticks and two-player mode. You can actually turn the handle of the joystick to rotate your character to look in different directions. Uh, 16 total, I believe. Um, we take control of commando-like warriors named Ralph and Clark, who must try to reach the village of Akari. Enemy units attempting to kill the player include tanks, enemy soldiers, and helicopters, and there are a number of power-ups along the way. This was the first popular game to use rotary joysticks, those in which could be rotated in addition to being pushed in eight directions. The uh, game featured two buttons, one for the standard gun, another for lobbing grenades. It allowed two players side-by-side co-op play, one of the few games to do so at the time, and to use vehicles. Uh, the game is simply known as Akari in Japan and Akari Warriors everywhere else. In addition to changing the names of the main characters from Ralph and Clark to Paul and Vince, the military commander the player rescues at the end of the game is named um, General Kawasaki in the Japanese version, named after SNK's former president, and Colonel Cook in the US and American version, named after Trade West's founder. General Kawasaki's name was unchanged in the NES version. The enemies in the game were actually neo-Nazis, as evidenced by the uh, presence of a swastika in the middle of the final room. It was ported to several home systems, including the NES, the PC, the Apple II, the Atari ST, the Atari 2600, the Atari 7800, the Amiga, the Commodore 64, the ZX Spectrum, and the Amstrad CPC. Many of these were released in 1986, and the MSS, MSX port and conversions for 16-bit machines was released in 1987. The PC and Commodore 64 ports were developed by Quicksilver Software, and in 1989 a second Commodore version was released in the UK by Elite Software. This port is generally considered superior to the US one because all of these systems lack rotary joysticks, however, some felt they were not as compelling as the arcade version. Both the Atari 2600 and 7800 ports were released in 1990. The Atari ST and Amiga versions featured improved graphics and the latter also had improved sound effects. The NES version was developed by Micronix. A lesser known port of the game exists for the Sega Master System, distributed under the label of Time Soldiers. While theoretically a different game, the concept is identical. Two time-traveling soldiers travel through various periods of human history and prehistoric times, rescuing their captured friends and allies. Though the game was developed by now-defunct publisher Alpha Denshi and distributed outside of Japan by Romstar, also now defunct, the game was originally published by SNK and fundamentally an SNK title. It's been purported to be a knockoff of Akari Warriors, though it is considered an actual Master System port of Akari Warriors. I liked this game when I was a kid. Um, pretty good reviews all in all. Uh, game Machine gave it an 84%. Computer and video games get it 37 out of 40. Uh, it's hard, but it's fun. And it did well enough to spawn two sequels.